We are rolling, 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 just like The Undertaker during the Attitude Era. And this is the King of the Leaf package for March of 2024. I definitely don't have to reshoot this beginning because I didn't call it another company that I worked with for like a year. Anyways, welcome back to Pick Jimmy. You can call me DJ and hello to the bushel of bad apples. I don't think I said that to y'all in the smoke in video. I apologize. I'm shooting all of them at once, all of them just at once. So it's a lot of talking on my end. Anyway, appreciate y'all greatly. Am I blue? No, these are blue. Anyway, uh, March, I got a note. I'm gonna let y'all know about the note in just a second, but this is a message to anyone who sends me anything. I am not singling this out to uh, King of the Leaf, but some things have happened in the past. All these companies send me stuff as little thank yous for opening up my channel, right? As soon as it gets into my hands, welcome to the wild, wild west. You have drop kicked this cigar, boom, and punted it down the field gold line. Once it arrives here, anything goes. It's free game. You don't wanna send me shit, don't send me shit. I'm perfectly fine with that. I will survive and the channel will continue to do well despite you being featured on it in any capacity. Again, I'm not singling King of the Leaf out. Um, another package was sent into the channel unsolicited. I don't like when that happens without asking or anything and they just expected a video. I don't like that. Just because you send me anything, you are not owed shit. I have a very nice sized audience at this point and I am doing you a favor. Let's make that clear. So, I got a little note. I appreciate the little note. Thank you for letting me know a little details. Uh, King of the Leaf would like me to tell you. King of the Leaf here has a special cigar this month. They like to include limited or rare cigars, one to two each month. That's kind of what this note let me know. Thank you for letting me know to include that. I will talk about it. The rare cigar in this month, I don't like. I've gotten it, I've tried it. I'm still editing the review. I was actually editing the review last night. You may enjoy it. I particularly did not like it because I particularly don't like the idea of putting dicks in my mouth. <laughs> This cigar right here. This is the little peepee -pee cigar uh, from Caldwell. It is the lost and found just the tip. You can see so right there. And they wanted me to let you know that this is from the original run uh, of the lost and found cigars. So this is like one of the OGs. And it says you can tell based off of the foil on the band. Now I'm assuming, King of the Leaf, you mean this foil right here. And I went back and I checked my other video and I had the exact same foil. So this is the cigar that I smoked. And personally, I didn't care for it. Um, I didn't think it was a very good cigar, but you might, just because I don't like a cigar doesn't mean you will not like a cigar. We have talked about this before on the channel. A very big uh, thing about this, a great example of this is the Sokka Khan. Personally, not a fan. Many, 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 many people disagree with that statement and that's okay. And all I gotta do is keep this little cool card right here, because on the back of this cool little card, you scan it with your phone, and it takes you right to all the information. Steeped in legend, the tale of just the tip, lost and found, weaves through the shadowy alleys of a partnership of bad, from, I know, bad, it was bad, and bad shit happened. 15 minutes of fame, cut in half, you get the just the tip. And this is a Rabusto, it's a Habano wrapper, Sumatra binder, and the filler is Dominican and Nicaraguan, Nicaraguan, Nicaraguan. It's from Nicaragua, Nicaragua. Is it a bad cigar? Maybe not to you. I personally didn't like it. Uh, this is the just the tip, and it is from the original release of this cigar. So it should have some age on it. Do I know when it came out? No. This is the Alec Bradley Filthy Hooligan, if it ever focuses. Hide your face, thank you. This is the Alec and Bradley, no, this is the Alec Bradley Filthy Hooligan right here. Uh, this is the Black Market Filthy Hooligan. It is the two-banded cigar, not to be confused with the Alec Bradley Filthy Hooligan Shamrock, which is a three-banded cigar that adds Connecticut. This one right here has a barber pool Barber pool, a barber pole of Honduran and Nicaraguan tobaccos. Again, here's the beautiful, 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 beautiful cigar here. Probably one of the most fun cigars that comes out all year long. Look forward to it. I know many people look forward to it. It is a great cigar. I thoroughly enjoy it. Uh, it came out in 2013 originally. The wrapper is a barber leaf, if you can't tell already, and the binder is Ecuadorian Sumatra, and the filler is Honduran and Panamanian. 
is from Honduras and Panama. That's pretty cool. I did not realize that. Uh, anyway, light green candela with a rich Nicaraguan jalapa wrapper. That's the barber pole on the outside, and it is a blend of Honduran and Panamanian fillers, like I just said. Complex smoke, very, very cool. Limited to 2,000 boxes worldwide, so if you happen to get one of these, you should. So if you haven't got one of these yet, you should pick it up before St. Patrick's Day. This video is probably coming out after St. Patrick's Day, so hopefully you got one. Next up, we got the La Bijou. This is a My Father cigar I have not smoked yet. Keelan actually just sent me like a dinosaur version of this cigar, uh, but this is the La Bijou by My Father. So what's really cool is now I can smoke one from Keelan that has a shit ton of age on it, and then I can also smoke this one to see how the cigar compares. Now the La Bijou is a Nicaraguan Habano cigar, Nicaraguan Habano cigar, Nicaraguan binder, and Nicaraguan filler, which means it's a Nicaraguan Puro. This is a peppery Nicaraguan puro that sports an oily, dark Habano wrapper. Uh, the La, My Father Le Bajou 1922 is handmade in Nicaragua. Uh, handmade in Nicaragua. My Father's cigars are... Oh, this is, and, and fun fact, this cigar was a Cigar Aficionado's number one cigar of 2015. I didn't know that. So if you care about that type of thing, that's pretty cool. Number one of 2015. Next up, we got Blind Man's Bluff Nicaragua. A lot of Nicaraguan tobacco, which is cool because I dig Nicaraguan cigars. This is a Nicaraguan, this is another puro. This is a Nicaraguan Habano with Nicaraguan filler and binder. Nicaraguan puro cigar here. Um, I've had Blind Man's Bluff in, it has like a burgundy wrapper, I think. I really like that one. I have never had this one before. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. It's a Nicaraguan Puro. That's all I can tell you. If you like Nicaraguan Puros, it might be worth checking out. Pretty cool cigar though. I like the orange. I do like the orange. All right. And last, but certainly not least, we have the Cro-Magnon uh, Aquitaine. Is that how you say that? Aquitaine, Cro-Magnon Aquitaine model number five. Sorry, mode number five. I added an L for some reason. And it's by Roma Craft. Um, Roma Craft cigars are I guess boutique-y. I don't know if that's true or not, but I know Michael really likes them. Roger over at the Working Man Cigars. I almost said the Cigar Collective, but that's not Roger, and he also doesn't like them. But anyway, Roger at Working Man Cigars likes these cigars. Michael at Master S likes these cigars. I believe in Roma Craft. I have yet to smoke one that I really, really love, but I have liked them. Um, I really like the Sabretooth, but my cigar was plugged as shit. So I can taste the potential, but I didn't get it. Anyway, this cigar right here is a Perfecto. It's a five by 50. It's an Ecuadorian Habano. The binder exciting. And the filler is Nicaraguan. This, this one right here, this one right here is going to be it. It's a little small, but I'm excited about this one. I'm excited about, can, give me a Cameroon binder. From everything that I'm reading, this cigar, this little poquito right here, this little five by 50, little whoosh, this thing right here should be focused, damn it, should be pretty complex. I'm liking it. I'm gonna set this one aside. Uh, it's supposed to be rich, deep tobaccos. Okay, okay. Lots of flavor. This thing should be a flavor bomb from everything I'm reading. It's got, it's got Cameroon, it's got Nicaragua, it's got Habano. Um, Ecuador and Habano, it's not as fun. Uh, tasting notes are supposedly, the tasting notes on this one are nuts, cedar, toast, espresso, black pepper, and leather. So it should be a lot. It's got a lot going on. But anyway, this right here is what you get from King of the Leaf for March of 2024. Pretty solid selection overall. Uh, you get uh, just the tip, original. So if you're into lost and found cigars, you'll really like this thing right here. This Roma Craft seems super interesting and a lot of potent right here. Le Bijou, I know a lot of people love this cigar. This Nicaraguan Puro from Caldwell. Again, I don't remember the name of the one with the, the maroon band. I really liked it. I'm hoping this is bomb. And of course, it's St. Patty's time with D's, not T's, unfortunately. You get the filthy hula again. I'm really excited about the Filthy Hooligan. I love this cigar a lot. It's a great cigar. But all in all, thank you, King of the Leaf. If you guys want to check him out, you can't go wrong. Again, 
you want to check them out, check them out. I can't tell you where to go, but I can put this on screen. And I'm definitely not getting tired of saying that in every fucking video. Anyway, uh, King of the Leaf, check them out. Check them out. They're trying to do things. Anyway, King of the Leaf, they're, uh, they're trying. They want to be different. They don't want to be just a regular Cigar of the Month Club, and I commend them for that. Uh, pretty solid selection overall. I've never been disappointed by King of the Leaf. I'll say that. That's something I can honestly say. I've never been disappointed by these guys. I'd never seen the post and been like, uh, you, great. I get to pretend to be happy. And I will say this, uh, they had an exclusive cigar last month. It was the uh, Love Hurts, I think it was called. It was a little Cupid cigar. It was an Ecuadorian Habano. I think it was Ecuadorian Habano. It was a, a Habano. I really, really dug it. it fantastic cigar. I like it when they go out and make their own thing. I find they're great. So far, I have never been disappointed by one of their own exclusive cigars. So again, if you want to check them out, feel free to do so. Otherwise, please like, comment, subscribe, all those YouTuber things. And as always, you can call me DJ. Thanks for watching PJ, and I'll see you in the next one. I got two more to shoot today. Peace. And as a reminder, please follow me over on Rumble, TikTok, and Instagram if you have them. Links are in the description down below. Just in case things ever go belly up here on YouTube, we want to make sure the bushel stays together.